Boom. What up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Amazon Ads Raw and Daily. The whole podcast is an experiment. And so I'm now experimenting with opening sentences and maybe opening sounds or whatever. Um, also, maybe for those of you who are listening to podcasts more often, you will probably be annoyed from how the intro transitions into the actual content of the episode because uh i am and i hope you are too um the thing is with the podcast host i've chosen obviously a free one i'm not <laughs> currently not paying for anything um i can upload an intro and an outro and i can upload the episode content but there is a slight pause between these things which i am not happy about but as this podcast is a raw uncut thing i'm not thinking about making an edit and kind of integrate my intro sounds into the actual podcast content and kind of let it flow into each other like you would uh like you're used to from from other podcast productions this is the rawest most basic podcast production you'll ever listen to and I'm um, not really proud of that, but that's how it is. All right. Yesterday, we talked about sponsored brand campaigns. And the topic of this week is back to basics. And I think I've left a couple of informations on the table about sponsored brand campaigns. So I would want to connect the dots here and talk a little bit about sponsored brands today again. And sponsored display, we might talk about tomorrow. So for sponsored brands, there's three different ad formats. There's a product collection, there's a store spotlight, and there's videos. Let's talk about the different the differences here and the setups and what you can do with it. A uh, product collection has two options for where the customer actually lands. The first option is a landing page on the store. So you would choose the ad format product collection and then you would choose your store and the store page you want to use to land at. Depending on how the store page looks like, this ad format allows you to also advertise only one ASIN because it's basically advertising the ASIN on the store page. And if you create your store page with single ASINs per page, then basically you're advertising single ASINs on this product collection. The product collection originally has not been introduced uh, for, for a single ASIN. As the name says, it's for a product collection. And the idea here was to actually offer a customer who is searching for a generic term, let's say, um, let's say, I don't know, um, uh, pillows, to show them, hey, I have different kinds and different sizes and different colors and different variations of pillows for you. So click on my ad and you'll find the right one. So that means product collection is usually used with, it's called new landing page um, in the ad console, which creates this gateway page between the ad and the product detail page. Um, so it's kind of a new page which uh, has been created. And it can have up to, I don't know if there's kind of a limitation, but there can be many, many products on that, depending on how many products you choose to advertise in this format and in this ad group. And they will all be um, appearing on this landing page. The How the landing page actually looks like depends on how many ASINs you're choosing. If you just choose three, it looks a little different than if you would choose seven or something like that. Then there's one main product in the middle and then there's smaller widgets for products on top and below this this main one so um the main use case for product collections is to actually either show the variety you have for a certain product so showing different color variations different size variations different flavor variations or to show a different product assortment so for example if somebody's looking for your brand you could show them your free new product launches or your free best-selling products, which could all be from different product categories. So the usability 
and what you can do with product collection ads is very very uh, unique and has yeah lots of different use cases um, but you can also decide to send customers with a product collection ad to the store but then you cannot choose which ASIN is advertised it's the ASINs from the store page and Amazon is automatically pulling them um, the next option is the store spotlight we talked about it yesterday already a little bit there you don't have any option to choose from it's always the home page of your brand store so you can send people directly to your home page depending on the targeting you have and the keyword and so on and so forth um, you can use this for for different scenarios as mentioned yesterday i think like using a store spotlight for branded traffic does make a lot of sense so if somebody's looking for your brand then just send them to your brand store homepage. Or you could also use a product collection and send them to a specific uh, detail page of the uh, or sub page of the brand store, for example, the deals page. Now, both of these ad formats will mainly appear on top of search as a search headline search ads, but they can also appear at the bottom of search or on a product detail page. And depending uh, uh, if you're looking on desktop or on a mobile app, uh, they can also be like in rest of search, like appearing uh, while scrolling through the search engine result pages. The last ad format is the video format. And this is a video, as it says. And you're able to show, yeah, different, different. So the, the video can actually promote one product in the video, or you can show multiple products. So there's not... It doesn't has to be 100% connected to what, what product you're actually promoting. But if you select the video ad format, you have to choose one ASIN you want to advertise because this is not creating an additional landing page or sending to the store. This is, at least in the old way, it's sending the traffic directly to the PDP. So you would choose an ASIN you want to promote. You create a video for that that can show this ASIN, but it could also show this ASIN plus other ASINs, for example, other variations, um, and so on and so forth. And then if somebody clicks on the video ad, they will be forwarded to the product detail page. Now, what is relatively new, I think like end of last year, which means it's already kind of old, over half a year, is the option, and I think it was in beta in the beginning, uh, but now it should be available for everyone. Um, it's the option with videos to send people to the store as well. So all the free ad formats now have the option to send people to the store. Why is Amazon doing that? Because brand stores are important. Um, usually if you ask advertisers, they will, and, uh, they, uh, they will know that people on the store usually have a higher average basket than people who have not visited the store. So the stores are actually very powerful and there you can create your own story. You can make sure that you cross promote, you can show deals, you can show best selling products. It's, it's a unique environment where you are not having any competition in. So if the customers in the store, they are mostly and only buying your products because there's no other products and no ad placements yet. There's even options in the store that you promote ASINs from other brands. So basically in the store, you could also show other ASINs from other brands. Maybe you have two brands and then maybe you want to cross it or something like that. So there's lots of lots of options. We might cover this in another, another episode. I'm looking at time. It's already, we are already arriving at a 10 minutes mark. So videos to the detail page, that was the old thing. The new thing is, so you can choose, obviously, the new thing is sending them to the store. In the old variation, videos would show on rest of search. So somewhere in the middle of the search engine result page. At the beginning, there was only one placement reserved for that. Then they introduced another placement, which was a little bit more below on the desktop. Um, on the mobile app, the the the, the ZERP is anyways uh, uh, almost endless scrolling, so you would see videos appearing uh, from time to time within the ZERP. And the new format is to the store is actually a top of search headline search ad, if you want to call it like that. So it's similar 
to the product collection or the store spotlight from where it's placed, from the placement, but it is a video. And that's very exciting because it's moving, moving things are attention grabbing. Psychologically for humans, they will focus on the things which are moving first with their eyes. Um, so show somebody uh, five pictures and one moving piece, the eyes will move immediately to the moving to the moving uh, thing. Uh, so the attention grabber comes from the motion and the animation. Um, so this can be very powerful. When it was in beta, the placement was actually not on the first page, but on the second page. So the amount of impressions and clicks you were gathering from these kind of campaigns were super limited, but this has been changed. They are now showing on top of search on the first search engine result page, and they have amazing click-through rates. <laughs> uh, and when you were surprised from the click-through rates from sponsor brand videos when they were first introduced with 2%, 3%, whatever, you will be surprised from these as well. Because on top of search with a video format, your click-through rates are insanely high, I would say. All right, with that, we've talked about the ad formats for sponsored brand videos today. We have not covered sponsored brand video off Amazon. This is a different topic, as I explained yesterday. It's a different placement, which is not on Amazon, but off Amazon, Fire TV, uh, Freebie, this Freemo, or what, however it's called, uh, Free TV thing, Prime, Prime Video, Twitch, and so on. Um, this is something for another episode, maybe next week. Thank you all for listening. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye.